And continuing the trend, we got another sick fight here. Manuel Torres taking on Ignacio Bahamundes. Two strikers that are going to throw down. And, man, I'm definitely excited for this one. I'm more excited for this one than a lot of the fights on the card. We got Manuel Torres, who isn't as technical, but he's faster. He's explosive. He's more powerful. And he kind of sends it and goes for it early. Whereas Ignacio Bahamundes is... Very sharp, technical. He gets those reads, stays long, and can eventually, you know, time one of those big, crazy shots and get you out of there, like a knee or a big kick, um, or win kind of easy decision. And um, yeah, man, I mean, it's just going to come down to who can implement their style in this fight. I feel like early on, Manuel Torres is going to have a great chance to win, like he always does. He is super fast and very good with that check hook and he's good at coming forward and throwing three twos and um two threes and I feel like he could land that early and get Ignacio out of there I mean we see Ignacio get rocked early in a lot of fights he eats a lot of lead hooks as well and that's kind of Manuel Torres's money punch so I I kind of think that early on Ignacio is gonna have to survive a storm if he is gonna win this fight and another facet where I think that Torres does have the advantage is the wrestling and the grappling. I actually am pretty impressed from the short stuff that I've seen with Torres in terms of his grappling. The only thing that I'm worried about Torres with this is the cardio and the gas tank. He hasn't had too many long fights, and if Bob Mundus can extend this and start to implement his kind of style with the pot shotting, Torres maybe will slow down and Bob Mundus can kind of put that pace on him and get the win. So that's the thing that I'm a little bit weary about. If Torres doesn't get that finish early, is he going to be able to maintain that pace or is Ignacio going to kind of take over with the volume and technicality? Um, But I just feel like Ignacio, he struggled a lot with explosive fighters. He has lost a couple fights to guys that can close the distance quick and I think that Torres is another one of those style fighters and Bob Mendez you know he's been getting rocked and hurt in a lot of fights but he's never been knocked out I think this could be the time that he does get finally put out early and if Torres doesn't knock him out early I could see a submission as well um It's just if the fight gets extended, we're going to have to see how Torres' gas tank holds up, and that's going to be the story. And I think the game plan for Bob Mund is to try to bring the fight into the second and third round. So we'll see. It's a close fight. It's a money line. Uh, Pick him for a reason. But I'm going to go with Manuel Torres.